Welcome to what is potentially the worst deck in this game. What's going on guys? If you want to support our content and pick up this month's amazing Patreon rewards, you can do so at patreon.com slash it resolves. If you're interested in custom playmats and sleeves, visit yourplaymat.com and use code ITRESOLVES10YP for 10% off your entire purchase. What's going on guys and welcome back to another historic gameplay video. Before we jump into this, if you are not already, please make sure you subscribe. It really does help us out. We do have a giveaway going on right now as well, so if you subscribe, you are entered to win. There are also four other ways to enter. If you would like to follow, subscribe, join on uh, Twitch, Twitter, Instagram, and Discord, uh, that's your best chance of winning a free Innistrad Midnight Hunt bundle, so I'm very excited about that. Again, I'm going to reiterate, we got a different layout slightly here. Uh, uh, as you can tell, but I'm really excited to jump into today's deck because it's a bit of a weird one. So earlier today, I'm hoping I can get this out the same day, but earlier today uh, we played a Jeskai Mizzix Mastery style deck uh, that was looking to control the game and then kind of overload a Mizzix Mastery for the win. Uh, we did get it to overload in the last game, but it really didn't pan out the way we were hoping to. But in one of the games that we actually uh, uh, played in that video, we played against a Conundrum combo deck. Uh, now, if you don't know what conf uh, Confounding Conundrum does, basically it enters the battlefield, you draw a card, great. But whenever a land enters the battlefield under the opponent's control, if that player had another land enter the battlefield under their control this turn, they return a land they control to its owner's hand. So the idea is that we can get them to play a bunch of extra lands on their turn and then potentially uh, bounce a lot of their lands to make it so their deck is like virtually unplayable. It's not perfect. Uh, and this is, I will say, my best attempt at recreating. There's some very questionable things in here, but this is just a starting point. Feel free if you've got better ideas to leave them down below. But the idea is essentially to blow up their lands with the fall of the Thran. This is going to destroy all the lands and then bring back lands every turn uh, which will automatically activate the conundrum which will bounce the remaining lands and basically keep them on zero uh, the more conundrums we have out obviously the better we get there uh, I've built this a little bit more towards best of one uh, so I do have wrath of gods in here uh, as well as authority of the consoles just to slow things down a little bit we get uh, very very outpaced by aggro decks so the idea being that we've got a few elements to kind of deal with that uh, Crucible of Worlds in here, really for the Ghost Quarter slash Field of Ruin package here. Being able to replay these and kind of force them on their own turn after they've played a land to, to kind of bounce something or hit themselves with it. I don't know how good that is, I'll be honest, but it does allow us some, some opportunity there and just to wear them down long term. So it's kind of more of a long term play than just the Fall of the Thrans. Uh, Felidar Retreat is in here, though, because obviously we should be getting some landfall triggers, which would be great. Uh, as well as Fearless Fledgling, which is kind of our big beater in the deck. It, it takes a little bit of time to get going, but the idea is between this, which will get hopefully fairly large, and Felidar Retreat, which will hopefully go very wide, we can kind of deal with whatever the opponent has coming for us. Uh, Opt is in here just for a few extra pieces of card draw. Wherever we can slot in one extra mana, we'll throw that Opt in there. And then Blink of an Eye does a very similar job of dealing with the opponent's stuff. We don't have to kill their stuff, we have to bounce their stuff. Ideally, they're not going to have lands to bring it back, so it doesn't matter. Uh, one of the questionable cards, very questionable cards in this list, is brought back. It's two mana instant. Choose up to two target permanent cards in a graveyard that were put there from the battlefield this turn turn return them to the battlefield tap so the idea is if we can manage it uh <laughs> hopefully we can bring back some of the lands that we pull here and maybe get a really big turn off with felidar retreat or just ghost quarter and field of ruin or something some combination of those two and then be able to bring them back with the brought back if we just don't have much else to do not guaranteed that this is going to be good at all we may lose every single game but we're going to have fun doing it guys so let's go ahead we'll send this through a few games 20 30 minutes is usually the time frame i shoot for so we'll do the best we can to stick to that and hopefully hopefully we can get at least one or two wins with this but let's jump into game one and here we are guys for game number one now do we like this hand uh i think yes ish it's a little more interactive with the blink of an eye uh but the the fearless fledgling can do some work We've got the Hollowed Fountain to drop on turn one, which is just a freebie spell. Ugh, it'd be great to have authority of the consoles here, but it is what it is. We're probably going to want a Wrath of God. 
Uh, and potentially we might need to stick more Wrath of Gods in here. <laughs> we've only we've only got three. I say only. We've got three. We don't have maybe enough, but we'll do the best we can. Uh, interesting. Okay. Uh, let's throw you out there. Let's throw you out there. Let's just see what happens. Um, Authority of the consoles would be really, really good here. So maybe this is... I mean, it's not elves if they're playing a wild growth walker. Uh, very curious as to what this might be. Generally, you only see this in the Explorer decks, uh, which generally feature Bolus's Citadel. It doesn't look like that's the case here, uh, I will say. But one in the hand, the other will be exiled with a silver counter on it. Um, I'll put that into their hand. That's fine. We are going to try and be smart about our plays here, but we're learning this deck just like anybody else would be. Oh, there's a Wrath of God. Well, that's good. Um, we're just trying this out. This is not a guaranteed kind of deal, regardless of what we do. So let's do this. This is going to put a counter here, uh, which will allow us to attack in at the Karn, uh, which is worthwhile. And then we have the blink of an eye that can bounce something on their turn. Um, it might be the car and it might be, you know, one of these guys. We'll see. Uh, they do have this with a silver counter on it. So if they want, I guess they can do something there. Blink of an eye is very good against the minus two on the, uh, the Karn. Looks like this is just a card draw engine for them. Makes a lot of sense. We're going to obviously throw that into the hand. Um, <laughs> we do not want them to have a tender shoot dryad. Although truth be told, it's not the end of the world if they did, uh, solely because we do have wrath of God coming down. Um, Sure. They're going to explore. They've got a Jade Light Ranger. Quite a good card. Um, yeah. Worth noting, uh, we can bounce back our own Hedgling just to avoid the Wrath. That's an option. Something to think about. All right. Um, what do we want to do? Do we want to blink of an eye? and stem the bleeding here i'm gonna say yes i don't know for sure that that's correct we're gonna bounce that wild growth walker i'm gonna give him another turn because i want him to overcommit. um they probably aren't really thinking heavily that we've got wrath of god based on we played a creature we also play a bounce spell not a kill spell like I there's a lot of options that we could have, and my assumption is they're going to try and kind of overcommit a little bit here. Uh, we can also blast or uh, ghost quarter the blast zone, which doesn't seem bad, uh, but we do kind of want to leave things up here. So what do we do? What do we do? What do we do? Let's do this. We might be able to kind of play around a little bit here. This could be kind of fun. Let's get the blast zone out of here. That is going to give them a shuffle. So what this is going to do is get the Jade Light Ranger off the top and give them a land. Uh, but we can actually brought back the Ghost Quarter, uh, which isn't that exciting. I get it, but it keeps us moving forward on our land drops here, which is pretty important. Uh, we also get an extra land drop for this, which is very important. So let's bring you back. It's going to bring that in and I will go ahead and attack the Karn. My goal would be to kill that next turn. So the idea being they're going to probably play some more creatures. I hope this turn <laughs> um, we play land, we attack Karn and then we Wrath of God might be the best option. Uh, we will see. Um, I'll give them the creature this time. Arch of Araska is very good because it allows them to draw extra cards and we don't want that clearly. So. We'll see how this goes. Uh, we do have the Fall of Thran, but we don't have the Conundrum, which is a bit frustrating. I'd very much like to get that going, uh, but so far that's not going to happen. OK. Uh, yeah. I don't know what their sideboard is, but it's probably going to be very scary. Weird. They didn't have anything. S do they not have a sideboard? Because that seems awfully not helpful um <laughs> to be honest this is very not helpful uh okay let's do this uh let's do this we're gonna knock out this one so they can't keep playing stuff there uh yep and 
I think we will Wrath of God. We kind of have to, to be honest, uh, and we'll just pass. We'll save that Ghost Quarter because we do now know that they've got like arches. They obviously had Blast Zone before. We'll see what happens. Um, this is scary. Okay, so they do have a sideboard. I wonder why they didn't do that last time. Maybe to get it out of range of the fledgling. But it really wasn't because we had ghost quarters and whatnot. So not ghost quarters, but we had field of ruin in hand. Although I guess we can't use the field of ruin to be fair. So, all right, that works. Well, there's another fledgling. Um, yeah, that's fantastic. Let's do this. Let's take the opportunity to throw a counter on it, of course, uh, and we'll pass. We do still have that ghost quarter up uh, and again, Probably not going to use it until we either get a conundrum or we've got like a good solid target, specifically like a uh, I hate these sleeves, uh, specifically like a, a blast zone or something. Uh, blast zone does kind of wreck us if we leave it on the field, because not that they know this, but if they leave it on two or if they get it to two, that's a problem for us. So <laughs> curious to see if they minus here or if they just plus uh, thinking or, well, I mean, they've got a good target for it, to be fair. Um, ooh, very cool. Wow, okay, very, very cool. Um, yeah, that's super sick. Hmm, okay, a uh, little scary, not gonna lie. Yeah. Obviously, it doesn't do anything, it's not attached to anything, we lose a life, scary stuff. All right. There's a Felidar retreat. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. It's not actually worth it to do that yet, so let's just do this. Uh, we'll play the pathway lands. I guess we'll play it for blue. Doesn't really matter, to be honest. Uh, and we'll oops, attack in at the Karn. Now I expect we're just gonna die. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so I believe what they can do, I wish we could have played the fall of the Thran because that would have been kind of sick. Maybe we should have, uh, maybe we should have put a counter. Well, no, it wouldn't have mattered. It would have, would have been able to do it anyway. We couldn't have killed Karn. So they just get to copy these, <laughs> uh, which is terrifying. Um, we kind of have to block, unfortunately. Uh, if we don't, we just kind of die very, very quickly. We're going to die very quickly anyway. Um, all right. Uh, I mean, we're still like super dead here. Uh, yeah, let's do this. The problem is they just keep getting copies of this now, uh, and we don't really have a great way to deal with it. Uh, Field of Ruin also kind of not the best here because they don't have any basic lands out or non basic lands out. Excuse me. Obviously, they could. But all right. I think what I'm going to do is go ahead and concede here, guys. They've got it. There's not really a chance. So I'm going to concede. We'll move on to game two so as not to waste so much time. All right, guys, here we are for game number two. Uh, and yeah, I mean, this is a keep. We've got ops. We've got the conundrum, which is quite good. Uh, let's do this. I'm not going to worry about playing the ops right away. We'll get them eventually, um, so I'm not super stressed about it. Hey, they helloed us. Hello, my friend. Welcome. Um, welcome to what is potentially the worst deck in history. It's going to be great. All right. Uh, let's throw this out, and let's throw this out. Draw a card. Fantastic. We see they're playing green, which is potentially great for us if they, like, cultivate. We just get to, well, they have to bounce the lands back, to be fair, not just us, but... Ooh, Lotus Cobra kind of gets around it. Um, I guess we draw a card first. If we get a tapped land, we'll play that instead, but we didn't. Okay. Uh, let's play it for blue. That'll leave up opt for us. Now, they might cultivate here, still, because they're going to get a lot of land off of the, or a lot of mana off of the Lotus Cobra, regardless. Um, we do have Blink of an Eye at some point, so we can bounce something they play. Risen Reef. Uh, we might be able to kind of wreck them potentially here. Uh, for every land they play that they've already played, they have to bounce two back. That seems pretty good. 
I'm going to nice him. <laughs> That's a little mean. That's a little mean. Um, all right, so they're going to have to bounce two lands back. Uh, I like that. That's going to set them back quite a bit. Uh, and I guess I'll go ahead and opt just because. Oh, a Felidar retreat. Ooh. Um, yeah, I mean, I, I like that quite a bit. That's a very good card. We have the Wrath of God, so if things get too crazy... Oh, we just uh, got a follower. If things get too bad here, we can just kind of our or uh, Wrath of God and kill them, theoretically. We'll see. Okay, so they didn't have a land that time. All right. Make sure we do things correctly here. Question is, do we want a Wrath of God? I actually kind of think we do. It just means that they really have to rebuild. Uh, and before we throw that Felidar retreat down, I feel like that might be the best option. That's just a nice little three for one there that kind of keeps them at bay. The Lotus Cobra is gone. There's a Risen Reef, which is not bad. I mean, it's not great for us regardless, but it's not the end of the world either. Let's go ahead and take this turn to get that Felidar retreat down. We're, we're not getting lands, which is a little suspect. Uh, not suspect, but not great. Uh, but we do have some draw here, and this is just going to add value to all of those land drops that we theoretically will get later. Uh, and again, we might be in a position where they hit lands off these and have to bounce all their lands back, although it doesn't seem... I guess they don't have to, do they? It's a land card, you may put it onto the battlefield. So they're not putting them onto the battlefield, they're just gonna draw them. The good thing is they have a cap, right? Like they can't they can't forever do that, uh, which is good. Uh this is, I mean, definitely a hindrance for them. So here they're just discarding lands. <laughs> uh I mean, yeah, we just wrath of God. <laughs> That was about the best thing I think we could have drawn there, just to stem the bleeding a bit more. Uh, it gets the other Risen Reef off the table. They've got another Risen Reef. All right. Fair enough. My thing is, this is the correct play. If they hit a land off the top, they would have been able to play it there without hitting the Conundrums, which would have been very good, but they didn't get it. All right. Perfect. All right, Field of Ruin. Uh, let's get a 2-2. Uh, I guess we should have done, oops, uh, well, it depends, actually, I guess. We could have, hmm, we've got opt, we've got blink of an eye. We also just have this, I'm gonna pass. We can theoretically get them off of red here if we need to, which isn't a bad idea. We'll see. Okay, just kidding. Uh, we can get them off of green, uh, if we'd like to. At least until the end of the turn. All right. Uh, let's opt first. Another Felidar retreat. Uh, that doesn't seem bad. <laughs> um, yeah, I'll I'll take a Felidar retreat. Now we've got Blink of an Eye. I am gonna do this now to bounce the Risen Reef. What this does is it just means they're not drawing a lot of cards right now. Um, and they might have a counter. Let me be clear. They could have a negate or something. But this theoretically, yeah, they did add negate. Okay, sure. You got me. That means they're not negating a Felidar retreat, which is a much better spell, <laughs> um, to be fair. Uh, also, can I just say I really appreciate natural light versus not natural light because I tend to have a lot of that. Oh, they played a land? Off of the Risen Reef? Why? Why would you do that? Uh, I mean, that's fine. It keeps them at bay. I mean, our deck is technically working the way it needs to work. So we're kind of getting there. It's not great, but it's kind of getting there. We have made them discard like four cards solely because of <laughs> the way they've played this, which is not bad. Uh, okay. We can do some interesting stuff here, actually. Um, let's blow this up first. We then get a basic land. Gonna trigger this. 
This does not get their conundrum stuff going on, just to, to be clear here. This is their first land this turn, so that doesn't matter. Uh, but what this does is give us another little guy here. Um, and then we can just brought back the... Cool. Um, and I'm going to lay up on defense here. A little worried about what they might have, but that got them off red, uh, which could very well be important. Ow. Okay. I like. Oh, I really like. Thankfully, Felidar Retreat is much better, but that's very scary. <laughs> um, and we're still stemming the bleeding in terms of their damage. Oh, even better. Wow, that's fantastic. Okay, so here we can Felidar Retreat plus Authority. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna do it. Really need to get a land here, to be fair. But, I mean, that's an easy pass, easy turn. Let's see what they can do. I really think this deck is fun. <laughs> it's not good. It's very not good, but it is very fun. Uh, I'm liking this a lot. It's a silly deck for sure, but against a deck like this, uh, it's actually not that bad. Like, it's kind of cool. Um, I mean, chances are we're still going to lose this, but we're not here to win. We're here to have fun, guys. Uh, it's so weird looking over here, not over. Anyway, we'll get there. We'll get there, guys. I believe in us. All right. Oh, perfect. We gained three life off of this. Yes, I will take it. Our deck is like very well set up to take advantage of everything they do. Uh, which I'm super happy about. Come on, play a land. <laughs> play a land. Let's conundrum up some stuff. Uh, if we do get the destroy all lands card, uh, the follow the Thran, that could be really fun. Um, because we have double conundrum, which would then bounce all of the lands that they play back, <laughs> uh, which is kind of great. We do need to start playing these little fledglings so we can get some damage in. That's one thing we're not doing a great job of at the moment, but we'll get there. They could attack for two. <laughs> I mean, they could attack for more, but they don't have a great attack. And even the 2-2 the two -two isn't great. Uh, they do all have haste now, thanks to all these elemental tokens. But thankfully, Authority of the Consults kind of kind of wrecks that a little bit. Um, and we end the turn with more life than we initially had. So that's good. Oh, they had a crater hoof. Oh, wow. Uh, well, that's really sick. All right. So we just have to play some stuff out here. Uh, now what we can do is field of ruin. We're going to counter the authority. Uh, yeah, I mean, that's not great i mean it's kind of fine already got one down <laughs> and we just pass again not willing to attack in here because they do have quite a lot of damage on the field and i very much expect them to be able i mean we know they have crater hoof so like we know for a fact that they can do some major damage chances are they might have the crater hoof in hand because they already discarded one yep there it is which means everything is massive and i think we just die yeah, I'm sure we just die. Uh, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and concede. They just have it. I mean, that's all it is. Uh, are they not? Yeah, they got it. All right. Very well played by the opponent. That was a fun game, though. Let's jump into game three. Let's see if we can do a little bit better. This will probably be the last game. All right, guys, here we are for our third and I think definitely final game. Uh, the question is, do we keep this? Um, I don't love it, but with the opt and the conundrum, we've got we don't have like a guaranteed white source yet is the only trick. Um, but I think we've got enough card draw here that we can kind of make it work. Theoretically, we'll see. We'll have a fun time regardless, right? Like that's what we're that's what we're here to do. We are going to need a Wrath of God. <laughs> uh, let's go ahead and opt here. Perfect-ish. I mean, it's a white source. I'm going to take it. All right. Uh, let's throw this down. Let's throw the conundrum down. <clears throat> Again, drawing cards is very important here because we do have to get to the Wrath of God. 
Uh, Temple is going to help us out here, and then we can actually get another conundrum down. This has the most potential to be like the the time that we can make this work. We will see. Um, there's a brought back. Okay, let's do this. Let's hit Wrath of God ish. Nope. Okay. Let's conundrum. Draw another card. Ooh, authority is good. Uh, it's not perfect. It's not gonna like save us here, but we're not in. Okay, well now we're in a lot of danger. <laughs> uh, all right, that's super scary. Um, we're gonna authority. We're gonna temple, and then we're gonna leave up blink of an eye. We have to get Wrath of God. Uh, so we're gonna blink of an eye at their combat step. Sure. Gain a life. Uh, we blink of an eye. Get this out of here. That's super scary. I don't want that in my life. Um, they're just gonna replay it, I'm sure. Which is not great for us, but it's okay. Um, but it does save us a, at least a turn, I'm sure, overall. Um, and actually we gain some life from it too. Okay, so we still don't have what we need. Um, let's do this. Nope, don't want that. Literally has to be, it like literally has to be Wrath of God, I think. Um, hmm. This is going to be a quick game. Uh, <laughs> I think that's the, that's the takeaway here is we just lose probably sure come on give me wrath of god off the top please one time one time wrath of god off the top no uh okay Ugh, that's so terrible well let's just do the fun thing destroy all lands <laughs> Good game. They got us. Uh, all right, I kind of want to do one more. We're going to try one more. We'll try one more game. We're going to do it. We're going to see if we can make this happen one time. If it doesn't work, it doesn't work. Uh, but we got we got to give it a shot, guys. All right, guys, here we are. We got to try and make this work one time. We just have to. Uh, I'm going to keep this on the back of the fledglings here. They're not great. This is not a great starting hand at all, but we're going to give it a shot. We do have the temple to, to lead us off here. Throw that on the bottom. We really just want a conundrum, I assume. Uh, or just any like wrath effect or something like that. OK, not a wrath effect because control is here. Uh, all right. Um, throw ghost quarter out and let's uh, let's throw this little guy out. Curious to see how this actually goes. So this is obviously like salt. Oh, five color bolus control is what I'm guessing. Um, or fledgling. Let's see what they do. They might counter or kill. Looks like they're going to kill. All right, that's fine. Um, there are you out there. That does throw a counter here, which is nice. We do have to sequence pretty carefully here. I'm assuming that we're going to get wrecked uh, again, <laughs> and that's OK. Um, but I do want to just give this one the best shot that we can. That's all. So they do have some basics in their deck. That's helpful to know, especially with uh, both of these Field of Ruin plus Ghost Quarter. Um, it is very helpful to know. All right, we really need a conundrum. Oh. Well, that's also quite good. Um, play Field of Ruin. Let's attack in. There's no reason not to. Then I'm going to go ahead and play that Felidar Retreat. Chances are Bolas could come down like now or Golos. I don't know what they might have. This five color like they're playing Divination. That seems odd. That doesn't seem maybe correct. Um, OK, uh, well. We can play a fledgling. I don't actually think we want to, though. Uh, I'm going to take things a bit slow. We're going to play the authority. We're going to play this. Just going to obviously do some some work here. I'm going to spread things out a little uh, because I do think that 
if they're running single point and click removal, obviously we know that. We don't know for sure if they're running sweepers. Obviously, I assume they do. Um, but I'm going to make them have the sweeper for sure. Uh, that's just the way you do it. Okay. Uh, yeah. They're going to blow up the Felidar Retreat. In which case, what we are going to do is blow this up. So what this does is give us another land drop before uh, this actually happens. So we just get uh, one, a little bit of deck thinning, but then two, uh, an activation. And I'm gonna go this way. It gives us a pretty strong next turn, to be fair. Um, thank you. Oh, it giving us that nice, I like it. Uh, we're destroying all the lands. <laughs> this isn't even going to work conundrum wise, but that was just really fun. <laughs> that was the most satisfying thing. So what we have now are two very lethal threats. <laughs> uh, they do get a forest card. In all fairness, um, I mean, they get to rebuild pretty quickly here. Uh, get these two, I guess. It doesn't really matter. And we did it. We won. Guys, we are amazing. All right, let's talk about this one. All right, so we have to get the elephant out there, or the, the elephant in the room out there. We have to talk about the fact that this deck isn't good. Uh, this deck sucks. It's hilarious. It's very fun. And when it works, which we really didn't even get to see it work to the full extent of what it was trying to do. But that last game, we did get to see it win, which was fun. We got to blow up all the lands, which is also fun. Uh, so I really enjoyed it. This is a silly one. I recommend like not trying this solely because there's a lot of expensive like wild cards in it. But if you have the cards, just play around with it a little bit. Tool it out. See if you can make it a little better than we can. I think there are a lot of flex slots. I think brought back isn't great. Um, and I do think you could do, I would just say a lot more with it. Uh, I'm curious to see what you guys come up with, though, because I do think this can be really, really funny. Uh, so please do send me your list. Send me anything you've got going on. If you've got some decks that you would like to try when Innistrad does drop, please feel free, send them my way. I would like to try out some standard decks after uh, the, the set actually releases, so we've got a lot coming down the pipeline, uh, as well as, obviously, booster box openings, that kind of stuff, so please do stay tuned for all that. Make sure you subscribe, and I will see you guys very soon for some more gameplay videos. Thanks for watching, guys. I love you guys.